Just want to try a little I got like four batteries to fly so I wanted to try something here um, I've got these Emacs Avon props typically on the DC3 I use these uh, 3030 um, I HQ props 3030s I really like those I've tried a few others uh, I haven't tried the Emacs Avons they seem a little thinner a little fl more flexible they come down on the bell a little bit further. Um, I think that uh, I've, they've got good reviews in the past, so I'm going to see what they do. I've got two identical DC-3s, and I'm going to go ahead and fly them both and see which ones uh, feel the best from a prop standpoint. I'll let you know. All right, one more thing I want to mention. This is the iFlight DC-3. First off will be the HQ-3030 props, flying props out, 3-inch micro, sub-250 G quad, um, using DJI FPV. Some of you wanted to see how I mount my battery. That's, uh, that's where I use my battery. And this just wraps around and plugs in right, right there. So that's something I wanted to share. I am flying with an X-Air on top. I uh, have tried the X-Air on the left side, it seemed to make no difference to me. Uh, so I use it on the top, stock antennas on the bottom, um, DJI controller. So let's go, go ahead and uh, test this guy out. Okay guys, <laughs> cops are here now, so that test got cut in half, um, I will finish it later, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes that happens. Alright guys, next day, I'm out at a new spot today, hopefully the popo doesn't show up, I'm uh, testing the HQ3030s, the tried and true, my favorite props, uh, against these Emacs Avons on a uh, exactly the same quad so I did have the 3030s on this one uh, I took them off and put on the Emacs Avons some people like these um, I have not tried them yet I've tried some others we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see how it goes and uh, for those of you who are wondering the cops did not approach me or ask me any questions the other day they just watched as I retrieved one of these from the tree and I didn't want to press my luck after that, so I moved on. Uh, let's give it a shot today. It's strange, the goggles say there's no SD card, but it's in there and it's got a green light, so... HQ 3030s, we're going to give this a try. Hopefully, hopefully the video shows up. I don't really want to wipe the card right now. If this card doesn't work, I may have to share video off my goggles for the HQ 3030s. Because uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I pulled it out, put it back in. There's a lot of stuff.
guys. So these Emacs Avon props, I really like them. Um, they're, they feel maybe not quite as responsive off the throttle as the HQ 3030s, but they're definitely a worthy, um, um, I guess a comparable prop. Uh, they do well on the DC-3 and I think they're a little cheaper and easier to get sometimes than the HQ 3030s. So that's always a good thing. Man, it is cold today. I've noticed in a lot of battery sag. I know a lot of you guys are talking about fail safes and video dropouts and things like that. So I'm watching my battery, my voltage. I'm at like 10.8 volts um, with this little 3S. And I normally don't stop flying until it gets down below 10.5. Um, the problem is the battery sag. I watched it go down to 9.2 and video cut out. So I believe that when you have your flight controller, your air unit, everything running at max power, I'm, I'm usually it's usually happening when I'm applying full throttle. Um, the battery sags, it drops, and video will cut out. I think that's what a lot of you guys are seeing. I really think it's a voltage thing. I think it's just that the batteries right now, while it's cold, are sagging so much um, that it just causes the video to cut out. That might be one thing that we need to share with DJI. Perhaps they can um, they can make their air units operate or feed video at lower voltages. So that would be nice. Yeah, so those of us who like flying um, DJI on 3S, I think that's something we're just going to have to be aware of, uh, the battery sag in cold weather. Considerably, well, a huge difference compared to warm weather. Um, usually you're upside down about the time the, v the, the video feed cuts out. So I may have to go back to 4S at least during the winter. <laughs> um, perhaps that will stop the video feed from cutting off at, at lower voltage. So uh, back to 4S. I really like 3S, uh, but uh, I'm going to go to 4S probably. I normally fly, fly 3S 850s. I've got some 4S 650s. I will probably get some more 4S maybe 650s, maybe try to get something bigger, heavier, um, something above 650, but I can't handle the video feed cut out, so we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk later.